What over there? Uh, the uh, microlight laser, which you can see here, uh, has basically changed the entire practice uh, of pain medicine as I have been doing it for the last 25 years. Uh, I've used the uh, laser for approximately the last eight years, and this has just changed everything in terms of my ability to treat patients, particularly with fibromyalgia, who can't tolerate any kind of pain. Up until the first, I guess the first 15 years of my practice, I did over 300,000 trigger point injections. Uh, during that time, uh, treating fibromyalgia patients was very difficult because they'd respond very poorly to pain. Uh, given the fact that the laser is both risk-free and painless, it has significantly changed the outcome of treating patients with fibromyalgia. Basically, these patients have very widespread myofascial pain and treating them without causing pain from the treatment really uh, makes their treatment move much faster and more completely. Uh, I have recently uh, developed a uh, process for uh, using the laser to treat uh, migraine patients. Uh, we are able, uh, by using the uh, laser and aiming it right at the sphenopalatine ganglion, we can in fact stop a migraine headache uh, cold, so to speak. Uh, I've used this on more than a dozen patients at the present time, uh, all of whom were basically unresponsive to any other medications, any other treatments, including Botox, etc. Uh, and they were at their wit's end uh, in trying to relieve their severe migraines. Uh, within three to five minutes, these patients uh, had their headaches completely uh, controlled and two of them have completely resolved their migraine problems and now only occasionally get some treatments for uh, trigger points in their neck uh, that give them a mild headache. Uh, but we've converted the migraines into mild myofascial headaches and uh, the uh, laser is probably the best treatment that I have found over the last 25 years for inactivating myofascial trigger points. Uh, I use it not only for uh, patients with uh, headaches and with uh, widespread myofascial pain, but for uh, chronic regional pain syndrome, what used to be called RSD. I've used it extensively for arthritis uh, and various other uh, ailments, uh, many of which uh, are in fact related to my